Hi guys, Kerry Gray here, back at the Gin Light Resort, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to get out of this. Let's get into it. Now, sometimes out on course, we're faced with some incredibly daunting shots, and this is a great example of it. I'm here out on the fourth hole of the Quarry Nine at Joondalup Resort, and as you can see, we've got about 110 meters worth of bunker to carry with a big quarry face on the other side, and the green and the flag sits up on top of that right at the end, so quite a tough shot. And in this situation, course strategy-wise, for the majority of golfers, you're better off just playing out to the side with a sand wedge or something like that, just so you can put your ball back into play. In this instance, however, I'm gonna go for it. I'm feeling pretty confident, and I wanna get my ball up on top of that green. So I'm gonna run you through a few little setup keys and one in-swing thought that's gonna help you pick that ball clean off this surface, because that's what we need to do, and get it right up on top of that quarry face. So starting with the setup, in the address position, what I wanna see is I want the ball position a little bit further forward in your stance. By doing so, it's gonna get this golf club coming in a bit shallow with the ground. If I was to move it too far back, well, that's gonna get this golf club digging and we're more likely to leave it in the bunker. So having that ball position just a little bit further forward is gonna help with the delivery of the club as it strikes the golf ball. Secondary to that, I'm gonna feel like I've got a little bit more weight on my lead foot. We're gonna position that golf ball relatively underneath the sternum, and that's gonna ensure that I'm gonna be able to strike it clean and not too far back and behind. Our grip, well, we wanna grip down slightly on the golf club. When we're playing a shot such as this, the last thing we wanna do is have too much interaction with the sand or the surface in which the ball's lying on. So by gripping down slightly on the golf club, effectively that's gonna raise the arc up off the ground, and we're more likely to hit the equator throughout. So a couple of small setup adjustments. Let's move the ball further forward. Let's position some more weight on the lead foot and then grip slightly down the golf club. Now, finally, when you're playing the shot, this is a big key right here. The mentality that we need to have is that we're trying to thin the golf ball on purpose. I don't wanna see you try and dig that golf club down into the ground because if we do that, there's not much room for error and we're more likely to leave it in the sand. So once you're in position, ball position slightly further forward, leaning to the left. I really want you to feel like you're staying tall and trying to purposely thin that golf ball just so it's got enough momentum to get out. Now in a situation such as this, I would suggest you use something with a little less loft. So I'm taking two clubs more just so I don't have to hit it really hard to try and get this ball out. So ball position a little bit further forward, leaning on my left, two clubs more. Let's pick that ball clean. Now that came out exactly how I wanted, landed up on top of that green, and now I've got a good chance for birdie from this position. So as you can see, with a few small setup adjustments, it can increase the likelihood that you'll strike the ball and not the ground, could make a world of difference to your scorecard, especially when you're positioned in a spot such as this. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Please like and subscribe, comment below if you've got any questions, but until next time, I'm Kerry Gray, thanks for watching.